Hey guys, stacks in Swift UI are awesome. I'm gonna show you why. So basically, H stacks, V stacks, and Z stacks in Swift UI replace the need to use collection views and more uh, commonly table views with UIKit. So I have no plan for this video and I set it up that way on purpose, but I wanna demonstrate how quickly and how easily you can build combinations of stacks, V stacks with H stacks inside of Z stacks. Like there's so many different things you can do. So let's do them. Uh, go ahead and open a new Xcode project. All right, we're gonna to go to iOS app. We're gonna call this Stacks, baby. <laughs> Make sure your interface is Swift UI. Hit next and save that wherever you would like to save it. All right, let's resume. Let's get rid of the iPod touch. Okay. People are gonna see the title of this video and think Stacks are easy, Logan. Yeah, but did you know about the alignment in stacks and Z stacks. Bet you didn't. All right, we don't need padding. We certainly, actually, we do need text. Never mind. Um, so, what do we want to do here? I have an idea. Let's start out with a right click or command click your text embed in V stack. We're going to go to text. Uh, we could just make this say subtitle and we can make this one say. Hi, I'm the title. So for this one, we're gonna go dot font dot system. Size is gonna be 20. Weight dot bold. Design dot, what's monospace look like? Ooh, no. Another time, yes, this time, no. We're gonna stick to SF Pro, which is the default. Um, subtitle, we're going to go font.system. And by the way, you could easily do, let me comment this out. You could easily do dot title or dot font dot title, but okay. Preview. We're not doing this again, right? Surely we're not doing this again, right? I was just demonstrating that there are preset ones, but I like building my own. Okay. Size. 15 dot regular. Yeah, that's what I want. That's cool. And maybe we do, um, dot capitalized. That's not what I'm looking for. Dot uppercase is the one. Let's make it a little smaller. 14. I like when it's uppercase. Let's make it light. And uppercase. Oh, look at dark. Look at the subtitle font. All right, V stack. We're going to align this parentheses alignment, spacing, and content. Content is what we already have. So we're going to go alignment dot leading. I'm sure there's an instance where this is not correct, but leading is always left to me. L L. That's my memory trick. Is it childish? Possibly. Alignment dot leading spacing. Let's set it to 10. Let's not, let's set it to five. Five is perfect. All right, so there's one V stack. Okay, so say we want an image to the right of that. We're gonna embed this V stack in an H stack. So what we could do is go image, system name. Now, quick note. Image system name, if you are looking at this and you're thinking, I don't know what system name is, you need to go download SF symbols. What SF symbols is, it's basically a library of icons provided by Apple that you can use in your apps. There's a Mac app that you can download on developer.apple.com and they have a ton of things. So let's pick a winner here um, and they have you know, categories, we have gaming, we have health. Okay, should bed be in health or human? I don't know. 
Let's go figure walk here. So another cool thing you could do, you could right click, you could copy symbol and you can copy name. So we're gonna copy name, plug him in right there, figure walk, check him out. Cool thing about uh, SF symbols, keep forgetting the name, is you can set them like a font. So we're gonna go font.system and you can set the size and weight. You can have a bold symbol. So if we go 24 here, we're gonna have a pretty big guy. I don't know if I want him bold. I want our guy to be fit and lean, you know? But I like bold. Okay, so what's the problem here? The problem is everything's bunched together. So we're gonna fix that by adding a spacer in between. Now we have another problem. It's too close to the outside. I want him to be 28 too. He's not tall enough. 30. Grow, man. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come outside of the container that is rubbing the edges. Um, in this case, that is the H stack. So we're gonna go dot padding. The only padding we need here is dot horizontal. So we get the kind of the same effect. But if there was something above it and below it, we would get padding from that as well from using just dot padding. So let's just rock with that for now. Now, say I want a tiny little, you know, Maybe I want a text under my image. So we're going to embed image in, in VStack. Then we're going to say text. This is Frank, right? I don't want it to be that big. So we're going to go dot font dot caption Frank. Cool, right? Doesn't look that good. It's not supposed to. Now, here's the problem. Our H stack is only as big as the content in it. So if I were to come down here and go dot background, see color dot red, we don't want that. I think you could set background here. Maybe not. But instead of doing it there, we're just going to embed in, we're gonna command click our H stack, embed in Z stack. What does that do? That means our H stack is currently a layer by itself. But if we were to put something under it slash before it in the code, such as color dot blue, look at that. Now we're gonna come outside of our Z stack, go edges, ignoring safe area dot all so we get the full screen. Now we could come down and go dot background of our H stack is, you know, color dot red. This looks hideous. I'm well aware of that guys. Do not bash me, but I'm just demonstrating the layers here. Okay, but we don't like blue. We want a linear gradient uh, colors red to blue. We're gonna go dot top to dot bottom. And we're gonna go like a color parentheses, color literal. Oh yeah. Parentheses color literal. We're gonna go like an off white. Yeah, like a steel type look. Yeah, that's good for now. To a. Uh... Ooh. Cool, we'll do that. Um, so there's our H stack. What else can we do? We can embed our H stack now in a V stack. And then above it, also, I want to point out the alignment is different on H stacks. So we can go alignment dot top, bottom, center. So if we go top, it'll basically move everything instead of being left to right, like a V stack would be, since it's horizontal and the contents here, we could either move it up, middle, down. I don't really use the uh, first baseline, first text baseline. Seems pretty simple though, too bottommost text baseline in the view. So it's really similar to bottom, but just depending on what content you have. So you can go bottom. I almost always do center, depending on the situation. I have used top before, but center is most popular. And then just like our V stack, we have spacing as well. So we can go spacing. Uh, well, we have our spacer now, so this really isn't relevant. If we didn't have that spacer, Comment that out. 
and we wanted them closer, we can go spacing 16. We can go spacing 30. Yep. But not relevant to our situation. Now, Z stack, I want to show you an interesting thing. You can set an alignment in Z stack. It can be top leading, top trailing, bottom leading, bottom trailing. Look at this. We can set everything in there, top leading, bottom. Interesting, right? We're not gonna set it right now because it's messing up everything we've worked hard for. Back to our V stack. We're going to make this alignment. I rarely set it before, but just wanna show you guys this dot center because we're gonna put a image uh, system name. I want this to be like a huge image. So I don't know if SF symbols is the right, right way to go here. Oh, look, a tortoise. Copy name. System name, paste it. Come on, preview. Let's see our title. I like title. All right. Uh, dot font, dot system. We do want a bold turtle. We want our turtle beefy. Now size, let's go to like 50 here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And then what you could do is like, you got your image here, you could embed the turtle alone in a Z stack. And you can go circle, uh, dot frame is you know width 40 height 40 let's make that 80 i was trying to make a cool little you're going to see what i was going to make actually i'm not giving up on this cool and now we're going to do uh dot foreground color is going to yeah that's what we wanted color dot or parentheses color literal and we're going to make this a navy blue to go well with our blue scheme yeah cool right and you can really i i honestly don't know the limitations i know you can't have over 10 elements in a v stack i imagine uh h stacks are the same and i'm going to show how uh scroll view works with H stack and V stack coming up soon, but you can just continue to add these layers here. Like this can be, you know, come on, I picked the same color. Like you can embed this H stack and another H stack in a V stack. So we currently have, we started here, by the way, we started, Hey, I'm the title. So this is really, uh, more for beginners just to demonstrate like this is the capability and by the way for anyone who you know isn't that familiar with UI kit this is so much harder to do and so much more time consuming to do in UI kit just because of the way everything's set up um, just because of the use of collection views and table views there's a lot more work involved so I'm very thankful for uh, Swift UI for that reason Okay, so yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, stacks are very simple. I just wanted to do a video, you know, for the more beginner Swift UI guys. Uh, Z stack is layers, V stack vertical, H stack horizontal, obviously. But the alignment and the spacing allows for, you know, a lot of variety and different layouts. And I think people underestimate A, how much easier this makes everything when you compare it to UI kit, but B, um, how many layers you can go. Like, if you want, like a thin, you know, we have our glass morphism tutorial where we have multiple layers in a Z stack. Say you want that, you know, in a list cell. So you could have a Z stack, you could have a V stack for the text, you could have an H stack for that text and an image. And that's all within the Z stacks with maybe like a gradient or something. So it's really just playing around. And uh, I encourage you to download the code from GitHub that I will post in the description here and just mess with it. Just play with your own, see what this button does. You know, alignment and spacing are really all you have to work with, but you can manipulate them a lot. So uh, 
yeah, as always, let me know what you think. If you like this video, thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm blown away by, you know, that I'm already getting like comments and stuff. So it's super cool to me. Uh, it's super cool. I just hit 44 subscribers today, which is awesome. Like it's not a lot if you say it, but to me it's a ton because I just started and I know a small amount of those are my friends. So there's some strangers watching this already and that's dope to me. It's so cool. So tell me what else you want to see. Uh, comment. Let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. I'm going to keep uploading. So be sure to subscribe and uh, there will be more on the way. So as always, thank you and uh, good luck out there. Thanks.